Hey everyone and welcome to Live Chat University. Today I'm going to talk about Google Tag Manager, how to install it, how to integrate GTM with your Google Analytics, how to set up a trigger, how to set up a tag, and how to add Live Chat to your sites in the template gallery. There's a lot, so let's get into this. I'm going to show you two ways of installing GTM. The first will be installing live chat on an existing Google Tag Manager account, and the other will be creating a Google Tag Manager account and installing live chat manually. You'll find timestamps for each method in the description, so feel free to skip to the one that suits you. We'll start with installing live chat on an existing Google Tag Manager account. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your live chat app, go to settings, channels and website. Then select install via Google Tag Manager and connect to Google Tag Manager. Right, you will be redirected to a Google sign in page. You can choose your account or log in if you need to. Um, of course, click continue to accept live chat's request to access your Google account. Now choose the GTM account and GTM tag container and select install live chat. If it all works, then that's well. Live chat is up and running on your website. You've added live chat using Google Tag Manager. Now, if you see a pop-up saying, sorry, couldn't finish uh, the installation, then first of all, please make sure you have published permissions in your GTM. And second of all, very important here, it might be because you already have a tag with the live chat code. So if you couldn't finish the installation, then please check your tags in GTM and see if you don't already have a live chat code added there. Create a Google Tag Manager account and install live chat manually. So the other way of installing Google Tag Manager is by doing it manually. I'm going to show you the whole process from how to create your GTM account, tag, and add the live chat code. So the first thing you want to do is sign into your Google account. Then you want to make sure that you find yourself on the Google Tag Manager page. So we want to click create account here, and we want to choose a name for our new account. So I'm going to go with something like Kaya's e-commerce store. Then we also need to set up our container. So we actually need to come up with another name. So I'll go with something like Kaya's online shop um, one. <laughs> and also we want to make sure that we choose for web. Ooh, by the way, the container holds all of your tags, such as Google Analytics tag, AdWords tag, or a live chat tag. So I just wanted to make that obvious. Right, now we can simply click on create. Of course, we also want to read through the GTM terms of service and select yes to accept them. Now you will see a container with a code snippet pop up. And what you want to do is simply copy and paste the code into every page of your site. So the first code that we have here, we want to paste um, as high as we can in the head. So let's copy this. And we want to paste it right here. Then the second piece of code we want to paste immediately after the opening body tag. So right here. So as you can see here, you can test your website as well. But if you're not up for that option just yet, we can click OK. So now we want to add a new tag. So we want to go here. And we have tag configuration. So click anywhere within this box, open it up, and we choose custom HTML. Then what you want to do is in a new tab, go to your live chat app. Here we want to make sure we're in settings, channels and website. Now we want to copy our code. We want to go back to Google Tag Manager and we simply want to paste it here. Then we want to proceed to triggering. And here we want to select all pages. Right, let's go and save it. So of course, Google Tag Manager will ask you to name your tag. Here I'm simply going to go with custom HTML. 
integrate Google Tag Manager with Google Analytics. So to use the Google Analytics integration with Google Tag Manager, you need to configure a few more things to make sure that various events are recorded correctly. When using GA and GTM at the same time, let Live Chat know which code we should track. GA offers many methods of installation. You can install GA by adding a Google tag directly to your website code. Then the correct parameter would be G tag or you can add Google tag to your website through GTM. Then the correct parameter would be GTM. Adding this parameter in the live chat code makes sure that our events are sent to the correct GA installation. So suppose you're using several different versions of the Google Analytics code. In that case, you can let live chat know which version to use for the integration. You can do that by adding the following parameter to your live chat tracking code under your license number on your website, window, da, da 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 And since we are integrating Google Tag Manager with Google Analytics, we want to use the following parameter, GTM, which also goes under your license number. So this is actually getting quite complicated. So here's an example of the live chat tracking code with the additional parameter added. You can copy this code into a text edit and replace the eight X's you have here with your license number. Then simply all you need to do is paste this code before the body tag. So this is the same as your live chat code, just altered. I'll leave this code in a link in the description for you. So feel free to copy it and use it on your website. Now just remember to replace the AXs with your own license number. You can find your live chat license number in the live chat app in settings, channels, website, by copying the code, opening a text edit, pasting it there, and simply selecting the eight digits here. Once you have installed the Google Analytics integration, log in to your Google Tag Manager account. Set up a trigger. So for that, you wanna find yourself in your Google Tag Manager, and you want to go to triggers, you want to click new, and then click anywhere in the trigger configuration box. For the trigger type, we want to find custom event. And here in the event name field, we want to type live chat. Then we can click save, leave everything as is. And here for the trigger name, I'm going to name it GA live chat rule. You can do so as well. It's going to make things easier later on. And let's click save. That's it, the trigger is set up, let's move on to configuring tags. So what we want to do is go to tags, we want to click on new. Now, since we are configuring the GA4 event, we need to add the trigger we created earlier, GA live chat rule. So we wanna click anywhere in the triggering box and select our GA live chat rule. Right, now let's get to configuring the tag. So click anywhere in tag configuration. Then we want to select Google Analytics and Google Analytics GA4 event. So as you can see here, we need to input our measurement ID, which we will actually find in our Google Analytics. So let's go and hop on over to GA. Right, in GA, we need to go to admin we need to find data streams. We need to click on the data stream. And here we want to copy the measurement ID. Let's hop on over back to GTM and simply paste it here. Now, if you see no Google tag found in this container, then that must mean that you have an issue with your GA4 to GTM integration. So here's what you want to do. First of all, you want to click on create tag. And then in tag configuration, you wanna make sure that you have um, tag type, Google tag, that you have your measurement ID pasted in your tag ID, and that for triggering, you have initialization all pages. Right, then you wanna go ahead and click on save. I'm gonna leave the name as is Google tag, click save. And there we go. Right, let's continue setting up our tag. So here next to event name, we wanna go ahead and click on the macro button. Then we wanna find the plus icon. 
click in variable configuration anywhere in the box and choose data layer variable. Now here we want to type in event category. It's very important that you type it in exactly the same way as I do. Right, we wanna leave everything else as is and simply click save. Of course, you will be asked to rename your variable. Here you can use a GA live chat category. Let's click save. Right, then we want to expand the event parameters tab and we want to leave event settings variable as none. And here we want to click on add parameter. In event parameter, type in event action exactly as I do, please. Then go select the macro button in the value field. We want to select the plus icon to proceed. And once again, click on variable configuration. Then choose data layer variable and type in event action. Leave everything as is and click save. Of course, you will be asked to rename your variable and here we can name it GA live chat action. Click save. Right, now in the same way, we want to create a new parameter for the label field. So add parameter. Here we want to enter event label. Once again, it's very important to type it in exactly as I did, so please make sure of that. Then in the value field, select the macro button, click the plus icon, click variable configuration, data layer variable, and in data layer variable name, we type in event label. Leave everything as is and click on save. Rename your variable. Here we're gonna go with GA live chat label. Right, let's click save. Next, we're gonna add one last parameter for the value field. So add parameter, event value, go to the value field and click on the macro button. Then click plus, variable configuration, data layer variable, and type in event value. Once again, make sure it's typed in the same way. Right, leave everything else as is and click save. Rename variable, here we're gonna go with GA live chat value. Let's click save. Right, now we can save our tag configuration. I'm just gonna leave the name as is, so Google Analytics GA4 event click save. And please, please do not forget to click submit once you have made your changes. Right, then you want to complete your GA4 setup. So we actually have a whole video tutorial on that for you. I'll leave it in the description. And that's it. From now on, the live chat widget events will show up in your Google Analytics report. Right, the last thing I wanna show you is the Google Tag Manager template gallery and how to add live chat to your sites. So once again, log into your Google Tag Manager account. Then you wanna make sure that you find yourself in templates. In tag templates, you wanna click on search gallery. You want to find the search icon and type in live chat tag. Here, click add to workspace and you will see a pop-up asking you, are you sure you want to add a community template? Click on add. Then you want to go back to tags and click on new. Go to tag configuration and select the live chat tag here. Right, to complete this step, you wanna make sure that you have an active live chat account as you need it to get your license ID. So go into the live chat app, go into settings, channels, website, copy your live chat code, open up a text edit, paste it in, get your eight digits here, copy them, and input it in live chat license number. Right, then you have to add a trigger. So click triggering and then select all pages. 
Right, let's click save. You can name it live chat tag or live chat template tag. I'd go with that. Right, let's click save. And of course, one very important step is to click on submit changes. So please don't forget to do this. Oh, that was a lot. But now you are practically an expert in setting up Google Tag Manager for live chat. Can we give our audience a certificate, please? Thanks. Thank you for watching and see you soon.